Hi, this is non-scripted, and uh, in light of the many, many responses to my most recent scripted video from last night, I thought I'd make this, try to make it brief. It's a lot of mischaracterizations being thrown out there. Uh, there's one major, major issue I want to take on here, but let me just briefly in the beginning say, uh, no, I'm not a socialist. I don't know how people are getting that idea, since I advocate... Uh, I've always advocated libertarianism. Uh, I mean, I, it, it's just bizarre how people uh, are arriving at that clue. The other thing I thought was quite amusing was that somehow I'm against free market capitalism because I don't endorse violent male-on-male -male competition in an effort to, act, uh, to acquire females. I mean, competition in, in itself is, as an abstraction does not, it's not a perfect, perfect uh, uh, analog uh, to... Um, free market capitalism, and certainly violent competition has had, it's really only recently that men compete with financial res financial resources and um, other resources in an effort to get women. I mean, the vast majority of human history was the brute beating his fellow man over the head with a club, and that's really what I'm decrying here. Uh, but you want to say that I'm against free market capitalism because of that, feel free. I mean, to me, it's a total non sequitur. And the uh, Clearly, 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 uh, these are traditionalist views, and they don't like the fact, these people don't like the fact that I'm suggesting that there's e anything akin to human nature, and biological human nature, for that matter. Um, getting in a lot of, we, uh, one guy just misreading what I'm saying, even though I state it clearly, let me state it once again, uh, regarding uh, Biological, biologically deterministic behavior. Yes, in large manner, measure, both women and men conform to a pattern of biological determinism. However, is a man going his own way, examining the issues, examining the state of affairs, recognizing that he is asserting his agency, his, his agency in the face of hypoagency, if you want to call it that, I said that, stated it very clearly in the video, that most men do not assert their agency in light of uh, the vicious circle that, that characterizes male-male um, -male competition for the sake of females in order to get access to female reproductive resource. I state that, and yet it's overlooked and, and twisted, and it's insane. But anyway, the main, main issue I want to talk about here is something that I talk about in the video as well. It's this deflection of that's just the way women are. Let me say at the outset that I want women to be free to do whatever they want. I think women potentially could achieve a great deal. They could achieve, they could be, they could intellectualize themselves, they could do a lot. They really could. But they can't do that, and they can't become autonomous, free-thinking, accomplishing individuals as long as they're perceived as children, as long as someone always wants to hold their hand, be it the state or the so-called patriarchs or the men who, who want to go back to the good old days. Uh, the only way for women to achieve autonomy, to move beyond um, their state, current state of affairs, hy hypoagency, you know, basically children, is to stop holding their hand. At some point in time, a child will cross the street without holding its mother's or father's hand, and, and, and that is a step towards independence as a full, autonomous, free-thinking individual. These are the, the, that's one of the first steps. Or maybe, uh, you know, when you start doing your own laundry as a child, or any, any of these minute steps. But the point is that as long as you perceive women as, as, merely, as merely being children that, that need others to act on their behalf, then we're not going to go anywhere, and it's it's so ironic that I'm I sound, I'm a rad fem, I'm I'm so supposedly a rad femme, and I hate women. I think women could achieve great things potentially. Um, they have a brain. Um, I'd like to see what they could achieve, but as long as uh, as long as they're perceived as as uh, as hypo agents, as children who need a hand holding. That entire video about, from Girl by Girl Writes What was about female high voyages, the tyranny of it. And here we see the tyranny uh, manifestly before us. We see it reflected in the comments of many, many people. It's ironic that Barbaros and I are called 
uh, female haters, and yet we're the ones ultimately who want women to achieve things and, and be on their own, do their own thing, instead of having us hold their hand or the state holding their hand. It seems to me, I'll make this clear, that the fine distinction between traditionalism and politicized feminism, and politicized feminism, you have the state holding women's hands. Traditionalists just want to go back to the days when it was men holding women's hands. And uh, men basically taking all the slack for women, now the state takes all the slack for women. It's just a, it's just a transfer, basically. <laughs> I don't want either. I really think women could do a lot of good things, but we don't give them the opportunity. Because we, we don't regard them as agents. We just think they're children. You don't believe me? Let me read a couple of quotes off as a response. Two, two quotes as a response to mine and, and one my video, most recent video, and one uh, larger quote in response to Barbarossa's video in defense of womb technology. And here we have that that's the, the deflection, or the argument, if you want to call it, of that's just the way women are. Let's have a look. This guy, uh, I think his name is Fran something, doesn't matter, in response to Barbarossa's video says, yeah, I fully agree with you, women have their inherent flaws, but our job as men is to not allow the, those flaws to corrupt society, as feminism is currently doing. We can't hate, which is the tone I'm beginning to sense them, uh, sense, brackets, them for their flaws no more uh, than we can expect a child eh, to think and act on an adult level. It, this is about men's rights, and we can't let things get too personal, which ironically is an effeminate trait. I don't know how relevant that is. Let me repeat that. No more than we can expect a child to think and act on an adult level. Now, the next bunch of quotes, I mean... I'm just quoting what he said. This is Rocky Mystery. This is what he literally said. He said, um, two small quotes here. This is what he wrote. To suggest a weaker part of the species is wrong for getting others to act as agents on their behalf is sexist. That doesn't make, really make any sense, but here's the kicker. There, quote brackets, women only one step up from children evolutionary in many, evolutionarily uh, in many regards. So even Mitt Rocky Mystery looks at women as basically as children, as no, having no agency. That entire video by Girl Rights What was about the fact that we look at women um, as children. Maybe if we stopped looking at women as children, stopped holding their hand, be it the state holding their hand, or the, the, the great patriarchs of the past, or power of the traditionalists, or I don't even, the, the language here is being so conflated. Um, maybe they wouldn't be children anymore. Uh, so I'm, I'm accused of being a rad femme and biological biological determinist about female nature. I don't see it that way. Because I'm stating, quite frankly, that I want, I want women to go out and do great things. They can, as long as they're confi confined to the role of a child, which is apparently the way Rocky Mystery sees them, as, as many others do. I don't think women are children. I mean, except when they actually really are children, you know, as young girls. Of course, as, as adults, women, potentially, they have brains, they could achieve a lot. Why don't we let them? We need to stop holding their hand. We need to let them cross the street. Let them start doing their own laundry. We need to let them assume responsibility. Will many of them fail? Probably. Will they fall on their face? Probably. And they pick themselves back up. We've all made mistakes, and we learn from those mistakes. At the end of the day, that's kind of what I'm advocating. Not kind of, that is what I'm advocating. And I think a lot of, I think that's what Girl Rights What is advocating as well. Do I hate women? No. They're also human beings, and I have compassion for them. Uh, to the extent that I want them to do, to, to own their own shit. But you can't, no one can own their own shit as long as they're a child. They're simply seen as a minor. Are female adults adults, or are they children? Do they have agency or not? The roles that they are confined to at the moment suggest that they don't have agency. That doesn't mean that agency could not be brought about. The only way to do it is, to, is as I said, to stop, stop perceiving them as children. Stop it. If we continue to do this, nothing's ever going to change. And it doesn't seem to me that... Uh, the other, the other side, and it is another side. I mean, women are one step up from children, evolutionarily speaking, and 
to suggest the weaker part of the species is wrong for getting others to act as agents is half as sexist. Um, you know, women have once again no responsibility for better or for ill, for good or for ill. They just have they're just just floating out there, and it's all it's all about the state or it's all about men doing things for them. I mean, this has got to stop. This this is the personification of hypo agency and the perception of that on part of men, but also on part of women. I mean, it's just as clear as day. Look at these look at these statements. Women are only one step up from children, children evolutionarily speaking, in many regards. We can't hate them for their flaws. I don't hate anyone. No more than we can expect a child to think and act on an adult level. I mean, come on. Who, who, who hates women? Who looks down on women here? I think women could achieve. They could achieve potentially intellectual greatness, just like men have. They need to be the, given the tool of autonomy and freedom and, 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 and enough respect so that they actually do have agency in the world. But as long as you look at a, as, as a child whose hand needs to be held, it's not going to happen. It's simply not going to happen. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know how much more uh, how much more clearly I can state these things. I mean, we have the quotes right in front of us. This is what, like I said, there's no the difference between statist perception of women and a, and a traditionalist uh, perception of women. Is the state is is daddy holding her hand. And traditionalists, it's it's a view. It's it's the man holding her hand. They're just children. They can't do anything. And da, 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 da. we want to end that. Can't do it as long as 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 as, uh, as as women are just seen as children, or at the very least, hypo agents. It's pretty much all I have to say about that. It's it's pretty incredible as well. Um, some of the stuff being said.